Well, hello, welcome back to another episode of Being to Basecraft with me, Ben. Um, something a wee bit different this time. Today I'm away on a overnight camp in a forest, so really looking forward to that. Can't wait to get there and uh, have a wee walk around the forest and scout out some really good camp spots. Get set up for the night. Uh, I've not got too far to drive there due to the local travel restrictions and the COVID lockdown and whatnot. We've all got to stay in our own, what do you call it, council areas. So it's a, just a local forest, only a couple of miles down the road. But I'll bring you back once I'm, a, once I'm a bit closer there. I want to see if that toilet's open, but I don't want to walk in front of his kit shot. Go on, go and see if the toilet's open. <laughs> Remember and wash your hands. Oh. About it. So that's us arrived at the forest now, where we're going to camp and get set up here for the night. I'll just get a fire lit somewhere over, round about here. So I'll bring you back once we're all set up. Right, well that's me all set up now, with my little cheapo Planet Gear tarp. That's my bed in here. Just bend down and get in here. So I've got a synthetic sleeping bag with a bivy bag over it, which is needed at this time of year due to the moisture. Under that, I've got my Van Gogh self inflating mat, reflective mat, and a ground sheet, and just a wee cheapo lantern up there. I'll just bring these back out. Just uh, just one to add on my bed space. I've got my wee uh, bedside table with me the night as well. You can see there. Got a, a selection of pale ales, wee hip fast full of whiskey. And uh, I went and got this a nice wee red wine. It comes from the, you can see it there, Devon region of England. I heard it's from a very, very nice. Vineyard, so I can't wait to get stuck in about that later on. So, all we've got left to do now is get a fireplace sorted, dig it out a wee bit, and get some firewood collected. And that's the we just do a wee wonder in the woods there. This came across this bloody hillbilly with bow and arrow. The camp redneck. <laughs> A wee bit target practice on his a uh, redneck bud light. Let's see if he hits it. Uh, Miles off. Okay. Poor show. Well, 
So Daniel's going to get the fire gun for us this evening. So what are you doing now, Daniel? Just breaking up some dry stuff just to make a nice wee base layer because the gun's absolutely soaking. So this just basically keeps the good stuff off the wet. And what are you going to use to get the fire gone once you've got a nice wee base laid down? I've got these wee new things that I want to try called wooden wool. So a wee bit of wooden wool along with some cotton swabs. Does it perfectly? The cotton swab takes the spark amazingly. And then there you the go, you'll just be using a fire steel to get them going as well. Aye. And once we get the fire gone, then we'll get a dinner on the go, eh boys? Yep. There you are, there's Daniel got the fire gone already. First strike with the fire steel. Well, he was doing that. I've just, where is it? Where have we put it? There it is, there. Over my shoulder. You chair. There's an old tree stump. Soaking wet. Neon pad on it. Good to go. Outstanding. Outstanding, as they say. I think we've got this that day now is getting all that wood process done, sawn up to size, ready to chuck on the fire. Hey guys, I've just came away from the main camp, which is a uh, just over at the back he used there, he's away. Here about he's chopping up some wood now to establish a good fire for us starting to cook on. Um, I just wanted to come over here just to get a bit of peace and quiet and I want to talk about a challenge that I've been tagged in by JQ Outdoors. Uh, it's a friend of mine, John, who has his own channel, so if you haven't heard of his, go over and check that out, that's JQ Outdoors. Um, so he's, uh, he's getting cooked, tagged me in a, a challenge. I'm just going to quickly run through what the challenge and involves and uh, talk you through what it is that I'm going to do. So first part of the challenge was to set up a shelter. You'll have already seen that earlier on in the video, I've got my tarp set up there. The next part of it was uh, the cooking side of things. The cooking side of things you had to use a maximum of eight ingredients. I'll give you a run through what I've got my, in my bag here is my ingredients. You have to use two methods of cooking. My two methods will be frying and what else was I going to do? Frying and boiling. And the other part of the challenge was that you couldn't use any utensils, so no sports, forks, anything like that. You had to make your own from materials in the woods or wherever it is that you're camping at that time. Um, so I'll see how I get on with that. I've never done that before. And you must only use one knife for the entire challenge which I've got just holstered in it side here, I've just got my wee bushcraft knife which you have seen before. Um, so I'm just quickly going to give you a run through the ingredients that I've got here. Um, I'm actually going to be making two dinners tonight, but one for the challenge and just one for myself later on. Uh, so the ingredients I've got, got some fresh basil, yeah, out there. Parmesan cheese, uh, so that they've been grated. Some Spanish chorizo sausage. Eunice tagatelli pasta. Some fresh double cream. Bob of garlic, I won't use it all, just a couple of cloves. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the final ingredient, if I can find it, some chicken thighs. I intend to make my own version of carbonara, so I'm going to boil up the pasta in a little titanium pot. I'll be frying off the chorizo and chicken in my little TF grill here. I'll add some chopped garlic to that. Once the pasta is boiled, I'm going to pour in the cream, add in the chorizo and chicken once it's cooked, and the garlic. Put in some of the parmesan shavings, and 
finally cut some basil into that as well. See how it turns out. I've never tried it before, so we'll wait and see how it turns out. Bring you guys back once I start cooking. Or uh, better yet, actually bring you back and show you some of the prep and the cooking. And uh, once it's finally ready. One, and we're live. So, here we are. Back at uh, Ben's Bistro. We're going to start making my, my carbonara now, doing a wee bit of prep. I've got my cameraman Jay there holding the camera. I've got my light technician over here, the hillbilly. Uh, so it's time, yeah, let's crack on. So, first things first, chopping board. What will we do first? We'll fry up the chorizo and chicken first. So, I'll just place what I'll fry in TF grill there on my kitchen table. So, chorizo first, we'll get this chopped up. Open. Just place the rubbish here now, but we'll tidy that up before we go. I'm only going to put half the sausage in because it is a anyone who's eaten chorizo before will know that it's quite a, a powerful flavour, and I don't want that flavour to take away from the other ingredients that I'm putting in the dish. So, we'll just use one half for this dish. Sorry, this bit is a wee bit boring sitting here watching me cook and I know it's not as exciting and got the glitz and glammy ready to to cook for all the housewives that will be sitting here watching this. However, what I do intend to show you tonight is you can eat Michelin star quality food whilst out in the woods. You do not need to be sitting there eating a boil in a bag. So there we go. Cheerios all chopped up. Straight into the pan that goes. Next. Just set that aside. That's the pasta. We'll boil that up in a minute. Next ingredient chicken so I've gone for the chicken thighs for this only reason being that's what was in the freezer this morning so I would prefer to have used chicken breasts I'm a breast man but we'll go for the legs today firstly of all chicken we're out in the woods Salmonella poisoning, don't want to be getting that on the digits. So, we've got a kitchen sink here and hot soap, eh, hot soap, hot water and soap to wash our hands. So, what do I do? We get our blue gloves on so we can handle the chicken if we're getting the raw chicken on our hands. Ready, back to cutting the chicken now. Again, don't think I'll use all that chicken there, there's quite a lot there, there's two thighs. We'll just go for one. Still a bit frozen actually, but not only the frost is it's cooking down. We'll just cut that into little chunks. Around the same size as the Mitsu Chirizo. Yeah, this is a bit of a challenge in itself with this uneven the uh, kitchen bunker that I've got here a bit. You've got to make do with what you've got in the woods. The rest of the guys are kind of quiet because I'm trying to do my film and stuff. So You're focusing. Feel free to chat amongst yourself, guys. <laughs> I'll just talk over you when I need to talk. What is it you're making again? Uh, it's going to be my own version of a carbonara. Now, a carbonara is typically, well, traditionally, cooked with eggs rather than cream but I'm going to be using double cream and instead of using parma ham in it which I believe is a traditional ingredient I'm using the chorizo and uh, chicken so you done it, bef you done it before it. you done it before never done it before this is our first time so you see it here first guys if it's a triumph 
you are all welcome to, to the recipe. Right, meat cooked. We'll just set that chopping board aside now. And uh, we will prepare the pasta to boil. So, to boil the pasta, we're going to use a little titanium pot that I've got here. Get the gloves off now that I've finished handling the chicken actually. And we'll just get that in the bin as well. Sorry if the lighting isn't great guys. I don't know what the, the light exposure is going to be like on this camera. Uh, we are starting to lose daylight quite rapidly so I'm trying to get a wee bit of a move on doing this. So, just come closer in Jay. Let's, uh, let's show the audience what we're doing here. So, little titanium pot. I've got my Tagatelli pasta here. I've got four nests here. Have a three, three, sorry. So, well, due to the size of the pot, we'll just say uh, we'll go for two, two nests. Sorry, my kitchen's a bit of a mess. I'm a messy chef, guys. I, I do apologise. So, we'll just squash that down ever so slightly so we can get it all in and uh, add our water to that. That much at my bottle, but here you go. Still enough for a brew later on, so lid on. Now, we're going to get that on the boil. Well, that's boiling, that'll be frying. While they're cooking down, I will be preparing the cream, doesn't need prepared, silly belly. The garlic, chopping up the garlic. We'll add that once that's a fried down ever so slightly. There we go, there's my lighting technician finally kicked in and started doing the job. The sound and light technician, do apologise, give you the title. And we will chop up the barley. A barley? Basil. And to read Ben, that says basil. Did you get the wrong one? We added basil, not <laughs> barley. So, chopping up the basil right at the end and add that to the dish once we're done. And the parmesan cheese. Right, so... That's me just about finished cooking my dish. I'm just going to just let it reduce down ever so slightly. Uh, let the cream thicken up and the uh, parmesan just melt down a wee bit. So uh, I'll take that off the fire in a wee minute, give it a wee stir about and let you see how it turned out. Right, well that's done already. Just excuse the music in the background, the wee hillbilly over there has got his uh, Red Knight music on. So eh. Uh, this all done until I get a better angle at it. Here we are. I don't know about you, but that looks absolutely fantastic to me. So, just as a reminder, in there I've got chorizo, chicken, basil, garlic, tagatelli and cream so i have cheated i do apologize john over at a gq outdoors i have used a spork due to me running out of daylight and a uh, being absolutely hank marvin i've not carved up my own one so apologies for that but anyway i'm just going to leave you guys now i'm just going to get tucked in about that uh, bring you guys back later on so I'm just going to enjoy that and uh, a can of beer. Yeah. Right, time for the taste test. They see how this turned out. He's a verdict to how it is. Mm. Oh my lord. You know the campo. Eat your heart out, pal. This is a this is spectacular. You know, you've all seen the ingredients. Seen how I cooked it, so uh, feel free. But honestly, zoom in on that. Have a look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Sorry, I, I, I keep it low. So, uh, just a wee secondary dinner for the three years. I went and got what are they called? Carolina Reaper chili burgers. I don't know if you can see it. I put a chili cheese on there. 
and Frank's hot sauce. So I'm going to call these Inferno Burgers. I'm not going to record us eating as eating it because. No, it'll not be pretty and eh? I'm a bit of a wussy when it comes to hot food, so chances are I'm going to be crying eating these, so eh? We'll bring you back later on. Well, that's it, about quarter past 11 now. You probably can't see me, it's a fit start, but there's a fire in the background. And eh? Uh, ran out of wine, ran out of beer. We've all had a wee whiskey each, so eh? Uh, it's made a wee brew. Get some biscuits and they away the bed. <laughs> Just sitting there chuckling away at the, the song that was playing in the background. I'll, uh, I'll not uh, mention the words that are in it. I'm sure some of you might have picked up on the on the lyrics of it, but I don't know. Just direct my torch over that way. Something that uh, Colin Russell's channel will just give him a wee punt now as well. Something that Colin does every camp that he does. Know that I'm disrespecting it, I actually think it's a. Uh, sets you up for a night, Colin, so uh, This one's for you. We pack it a uh, McVitie's Caramel Digestive Biscuits. And I've got a. a wee. Uh, Coffee just ready to take to my bed for the night, so eh. Uh, apologies, I'm no eh. Uh, I'm not the greatest at filming in here, but there you are. Biscuits and a coffee before bed. So eh, uh, let me get them down and eh, uh, bring you back. Well, you can talk about your and your dad so I'm just going to head off to bed in a wee minute. I'm going to have my if coffee and biscuits, as you've just seen. And eh, uh, Hit the hay for the night and eh. What the hell is that sprite? Apologies for swearing. But aye, boy, bring you back in the morning. Good night, guys. Well, oh, morning. That's eh. Me and the boys up now. We're just eh. Getting up and getting some breakfast on the go. Making our coffee. I've got eh. A wee cup of coffee there and some porridge. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that eaten, get camp packed up, uh, tidy up where we had the fire and take out our rubbish. And uh, that's it. That's uh, the last camp done of this year. Uh, I don't think I'll be out another overnight camp this year. I'll not be the last of my videos this year, I'll get a few more videos knocked out. Uh, leading up to Christmas, uh, but this will be the last overnight one that I do. But uh, if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching, and if you do like it, subscribe to the channel, give me a wee thumbs up and a wee comment, let me know what you think. So, uh, thanks again for watching.